Welcome fellow Biafrans, lovers of freedom across the world. I welcome you to this very platform once again. Thank you so much for being part of this platform. I appreciate everyone that is contributing in one way or the other to support this very platform. I thank you so much. We are in a new month and I wish you a very happy new month. Today is the 1st of July 2024 and we have come once again to preach the gospel of Biafra the way we have always done. Remember, in this very platform, we don't come here to instigate violence. We do not come here to preach hate. All we do here is preach the gospel of peace, the gospel of freedom, to bring the plight of the Biafran people before the whole world and to debunk every lie that the contraption called Nigeria have been telling against the Biafran people. That is what we are about to do now. Wonderful Biafrans, as you all know, the journey of freedom is still continuing in this era under the Biafra Republic of Indonesia on the command of our Prime Minister, Mazi Simon Ewa. He is doing everything humanly possible to see that Biafra becomes free. Not only in words, but in action. We have seen him take several steps and actions that are very effective. We have seen the employment of the duty of the, of the, of the, of the, of the lobby group, lobby firm, to lobby for Nigeria, for Biafran government. We have also seen the self-referendum which Biafrans are conducting very, very successful. And we have gotten recognition on that self-referendum, which is going to be binding on Nigeria and also on international laws. Wherever you are watching from, if you are not ready, you better get yourself prepared. Don't forget that today is Monday. And today is a day that Biafrans have set aside to also request for the unconditional release of Mazen Nandekan, a day that Biafrans come together to show that Nigerian government has no legitimacy in Biafran territory anymore. A day will demand the release of every political prisoner of Biafra. It is a day that the Biafrans come together to show the world that those who are serving to zoo in Biafran territory have lost legitimacy. It doesn't matter their rank they occupy, either as a governor, a minister, or whatever position they occupy. They have lost legitimacy. Today, Biafra land is under lock and key, and there are evidence everywhere, which I am going to show on video that you're going to see. Biafra land is under lock and key. In case you do not know, I am going to show you the available videos that were found so that you can know that the seat at home is ongoing and nothing is going to stop it. Let's watch. Today is the 1st of July 2024. Global News Ray reporting from Abaste, precisely in the industrial hub of Africa. Sit at home in the center of the world is 180%, repeat 180%. Everywhere is shut down on the evolution. Market women, men and women are now ready for freedom. They are going home. The Biafra now risen and they say no go area to Nigeria any longer. And they are ready. You can see the market has shut down. Even the poor women and the rich women are now going for freedom. It is time. I want to turn Biafra for what I do in the tenacity they put in place to make things work better. If you see this man, let it be shared everywhere, to sire everywhere. Men and women of the land are going home. It's a beautiful thing. You can see it shot down by the evolution. A great man and woman. What you have just seen is a few videos we can be able to collect, and there are so many of them. I cannot show you everything. As you know, this is the YouTube, and they have restriction and limitation to what we can be able to show. But you can agree with me that the seat at home is still ongoing in Biafra land on a very high scale and Biafrans are showing that they are ready to go home. The delegitimization of Nigerian government in Biafra territory is increasing in force and the Liberation Army are doing everything humanly possible to see that those terrorists in uniform and off uniform in Biafra territory are being delegitimized and sent out of Biafra land. My fellow Biafrans, the pursuit of freedom of Biafran people is inevitable. The reason for the pursuit of freedom is very evident before the whole world. It doesn't matter who you are. You can continue to deny it. You can continue to pretend it's not happening. But there are facts 
There are evidence that is showing that Biafras have the right to demand for their freedom. And the pursuit of their freedom is for their own safety, to save life of the people. We are talking about a government that does not care about its own people. We are talking about a terrorist government, a fraudulent government. We are talking about a government that cannot protect life and property of its own people. As you all know, Biafrans are not part of the agenda of Nigerian government. Have never been and will never be. You can continue to pretend for all I care, but the truth always remains that Biafrans are not wanted in Nigeria. You have seen the way Nigerian government have come in the open and declare war against the Biafrans. The chief of army staff on their national TV made an announcement and said that they are going on jungle warfare in Biafran territory. He used that word, jungle warfare. When you talk about war, you know what it entails. When a military man tells you about war, he knows what it means. It is not a joke, it's not a play, it's not a wrestling. When you talk about war, it entails a lot. And as if that is not enough, he came back again and told us that today they have changed it to asymmetric warfare. Again, another warfare. And when you look at these two kinds of warfare they have chosen, it will only lead to genocide, loss of innocent life. That's what it will lead to. When you look at it and interpret it well, the jungle warfare, think about the jungle justice. When you go there, you do not care what happens. You don't find, you don't try to look and find out if the people are guilty or not. It doesn't concern you. All you know is that once you see a suspect, you take that suspect out. And that is exactly what I mean in Biafra territory. In asymmetric warfare, you know what he did tell us. He explained it by himself. He said sometimes when you are going to the streets, people who you think are not your enemy might be your enemy. That shows that they know that they are not wanted in Biafra territory. And the only thing they do is that when they go to Biafra territory, they take out every single one of us. It does not matter whether you support the Biafra restoration or not. They see you as an enemy. They see you as an enemy. The earlier you understand this, the better. And if you do not rise up to defend yourself, a time is going to come when you will not have that voice to speak. Today, we Biafrans are lucky that we have a man who has taken up the responsibility to direct and guide the Biafran people into their freedom. The Prime Minister of Biafra, Republic of Nizam, is Samaneva, and he is doing it very, very well. The earlier you support the Biafran government, the better for you. Put your money where your mouth is. The only place you can sow effective seed today for your life is in Biafra restoration. Wherever you are as a Biafran, don't look back. Don't look back. Nigeria is not for you. In fact, the Zoological Republic called Nigeria has ended. The politicians and their families and their friends can continue to pretend that Nigeria exists. The fraudulent ones can continue to exist, uh, pretend that Nigeria exists. Every one of them is only waiting for an opportunity for them to steal. Anybody that is supporting one Nigeria is waiting for an opportunity for him to defraud and steal from the ordinary people. The indigenous people has no plan. Nigerian people has no plan. Nigeria as a government has no plan for any indigenous person. The earlier you understand this, the better. There is no single plan anywhere to benefit anybody. It does not matter whether you are from Urudua land, you are from Biafra land, you are from Arewa, from Middle Belt. There is no single plan to benefit the citizens of the country. It is about these politicians and affordable life. At every given opportunity, in every government, don't you don't think, don't dream and say that one government is going to come to become to change things or to make a miracle. You are wasting your time. Do not ever you sit back and begin to dream of a government that is going to come to change it. It will never happen. Every new government will be worse than the previous one. Go and check from their so-called independent date. Every new government has become worse than the previous one. And it will continue to happen even worse. In case you don't know how bad. Nigeria is. Even in the era of the man they call Mr. Integrity, the late Muhammad Buhari, the late Muhammad Buhari who has been, pra been praised for his integrity, you will be shocked what you're going to hear about his government. The revelation has started coming and I'm going to play a short clip for you. Pay attention to this short clip. You will understand that all is not well and the only way for you as an indigenous person in their country of Nigeria is to fight for your own freedom. If you're a Biafra, 
join the Biafra movement. If you are not doing join the Dudua people. If you are from Arewa, fight for your Arewa. If you are from the Middle Belt, join the Middle Belt movement. That is the only solution. I want you to watch this clip from beginning to end. You'll be glad you did. Let's watch. How bad is corruption in the Nigerian government <laughs> and the Nigerian system? All some of the things I recovered were returned back, you know, with people will recover those things from. For instance, there was this case of somebody will recover 80 S class Mercedes Benz car, brand new houses, farms, motorcycles, and so forth. In a house in Jabi, on that information, we got intelligence and we went there, we saw all those things. I wrote to the customs, the DG of customs, do these people pay? custom duties on, on these vehicles. 80, 80 brand new S-Class. Armored, armored plated. The CG of person said no, they didn't pay. I wrote to Federal Inland Revenue Service. Did these people pay tax? If you are importing, if you, are, if you have this kind of vehicles, if you have money to buy this kind of vehicles, you should pay enormous tax to the Nigerian government. They said no, you don't have any record of them paying tax. So we went to court, we got a, an order of official. And then uh, the court asked us to, you know, the, we should take custody of those things. It's interim for official, pending the hearing of the case. So I did it. I did, I did a memo to the Attorney General to brief him of what we were doing. But later on, the Attorney General <laughs> said that it, all, all the cases I investigated, they never mandated me. One of them was you know, came through Panama Papers. You know about the Panama Papers? Mm -hmm. A Nigerian senator, former military governor, was mentioned that he has properties in offshore islands. Since I didn't have the structures to investigate this issue, which is overseas, you know, I, I, I went to the DG, NIA, said, look, please, let us work together to do this investigation. And they did the investigation. The report was sent to me. I sent one to the president and I sent one to the attorney general that this man has proper over 200 million pounds in the offshore islands. A former governor, <laughs> a sitting senator. Um, you know, he's no longer in the Senate. No, no, at, at the time. At that time, he was a sitting senator. But he had been president of uh, the Nigerian Senate. But nothing happened. Not till today. What of the 69 billion dollars? I got a letter, I didn't prompt them, from an American law firm saying that they have assets or access to a bank account in Texas that has over 69 billion US dollars. Proceeds from stolen crude oil. And the, the, nine, the nine billion, 69, the proceeds from the crude oil is 60 billion. The nine billion is, they mentioned the name, Patrick Aziza, who was a um, National Security Advisor, and I, 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 I thought it was beyond me, so I wrote to the President that this is what his firm has, you know, alleged, yes, that they, they are asking for money, that if we make some payment available, that they will give us the bank, uh, not the, 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 the orders of the account number, the bank accounts, and so forth and so on. So I went to the President, I said, approve. So that they, we can recover this money. 69 billion is a lot of money. Of course, I, nothing came out of it. Up to now. I also did a letter to uh, Attorney General to brief him. But do you know what he said? The day he saw my wife, he laughed in a very sarcastic manner. Uh, I think Obla Obla claimed that he would recover 69 billion US dollars as he recovered the money. He was being sarcastic. I would like to recover the money when you didn't act as the Attorney General. You know, somebody has said, look, we have $69 billion of Nigerian money in a, in a bank account in America. And the government did not take action? Nothing. Look, it's in the media. They, when, uh, if you look at Punch, Punch, Punch published the story. Punch published the story. In, even when Buaru was in office, they did. I think if I, I would download it and send it to you, hmm. nothing was done. It feels like the government you work for was a failure in that respect. I, that, I have said so, that I was disappointed. Because I believe so much in, you know, the former president, you know, and I worked passionately for him. But, but I, I mean, would you attribute the underdevelopment of our country today to corruption? Why not? 
look, if you, if you, if you can, you know, somebody can take $69 billion out of Nigeria. If we have $69 billion, our universities will change our protagonists, our secondary schools. You know, we'll have water. We'll, you know, and this is just a tip, that is just a tip of the iceberg. There are so much more. More! After watching this very video I played, do you still have any doubt in your mind that Nigeria can never survive? The very people that are mentioned today are still being celebrated in that contraction called Zulu. The people that masterminded the stealing, that have stolen billions of dollars, confirmed with enough evidence. Look at a program aired in that same country. In that same country called Nigeria, look at the program that is being aired with facts and figures, names mentioned, and yet these people are walking about freely. None of them can be invited nor investigated. And there you are talking of a better Nigeria tomorrow. There you are. You that call yourself a one Nigerianist, you are still hoping that somehow miracle is going to happen and things will change. Keep dreaming. As for the Biafran people, I thank Chukwu Okukariam on their behalf. We are already on our way out. And come December, the declaration of the Resolution of Liberty State of Biafra will be made and Biafra will defend their borders. The only solution and way out for us is outright freedom. And that is what we are going for. No man born of a woman will stop it. Wherever you are watching this program from at this minute, I urge you to like and share this program. So that those who still think that somehow they can change things, who are deceiving themselves, they should stop deceiving themselves. It's either they are waiting to queue in and steal, or they are already stealing. That is why today they keep adamant and keep silent as if they don't know what is going on. My fellow Biafrans, it is either freedom or nothing. May Chukwu Kikabiam continue to guide and protect the Biafra Republic of the exile, protect our Prime Minister Mazi Samuel Epa, and protect our Supreme Master Nandika. Biafra government, peace, unity, progress, and equity. We move. Airborne.